नमस्कार आदाब शस्त्रेगा और खुशा मदीद वेरी वेरी गुड इवनिंग ऑफ पीपल दिस इज ए मास्टर डी जी हर्ष हु इज गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट नेशनल यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ सिंगापुर दैट इज एन यू एस टूडे इन दिस वीडियो लॉर्ड ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स हैड आस फॉर दिस वीडियो एंड देवर डिमांडिंग दैट सर देर इज लॉर्ड ऑफ ब्यूटिफुल अपॉर्चुनिटी हेयर देयर इन सिंगापुर टू मेनी स्टार्टअप्स आर गेटिंग रजिस्टर्ड इन सिंगापुर और लॉर्ड ऑफ इंडियन बिजनेसमैन आर मूविंग टूवर्ड्स सिंगापुर बिकॉज ऑफ इट्स tax structures and at the same time the growth mentality and the mindset of the people residing in singapore and that's the biggest reason why uh, despite getting uh, uh, independent in some 1960s singapore has done a a tremendous and a remarkable work in the arena of science and technology medical healthcare and what not in fact almost every domain they have uh, gained pretty good momentum so here i am with a uh, with the college the best college of singapore that is national university of singapore having a world qs ranking of all uh, world qs ranking of 8 and also government is trying to attract the best talent of uh, from the entire world and have students there in their universities to study uh, in in the in the in their best college and have all the best facilities and hence uh, moving forward uh, uh, in in a very positive manner in their career so let me get into this uh, uh, this college video in a in a detail so here we go before starting on before starting now let me tell you this is completely correct it's not a clickbait is thumbnail this is completely correct at the end of the video i will pr even prove this that this is the amount which a uh, government is spending over students so let me tell you what's the detail before starting on uh, if you have not subscribed to the channel kindly subscribe to the to the channel so that you can get all these beautiful content useful content uh, on time okay and we have a telegram group as well here in this telegram group you can get all the free content the pdfs the notes and even the links the the important links to apply to these colleges to to these universities you'll get in this telegram group okay so here we go first of all let's get started with national university of singapore a very beautiful campus they have this is uh, situated in lower kent ridge road singapore uh, this is a public university it's a government funded university established in 1980s it has got a 370 acres of campus world ranking of 8 now moving forward what's the expense of living in singapore so rented accommodation may cost somewhere around 950 singapore dollar to 2700 singapore dollar now how much does this cost so one singapore dollar one sgd is basically around 63 indian national rupees so having this conversion in mind when i converted this it comes somewhere around 60000 rupees to 160000 rupees per month rented accommodation and food and groceries they are more or less same same so 250 sgd to 400 sgd that brings somewhere around 20000 rupees per month so if you take this 20000 and if i take a average kind of thing 80000 rupees for a rented accommodation 80 and 20 that makes 1 lakh rupees per month for staying in singapore this is the basic expenditure which you need in singapore okay now moving forward if this is the basic uh, need now moving forward how much you would be able to earn there so as a student when a student goes there and works part time based on the government norms and the average payout a student is able to get a salary of somewhere around 1.75 lakh rupees per month on an average in working in a part time so this is the salary structure which a student is able to get now moving forward so 1 lakh rupees is the expenditure for staying there 75000 is is in your hands now what you will do with the 75000 so there are total 69 69 undergraduate programs in nus running currently and 211 post graduate programs so in undergraduate if we specifically see there are engineering and technology there are total 22 streams which you can choose from now moving forward there are two type of courses in engineering and uh, science first is bachelor's degree which is of 3 years and there is a bachelor's with honors degree which is 4 years which is equivalent to indian btech okay so btech degree you can say is of 4 years if you take only bachelor's degree which we call bachelor's degree or bsc degree here in india also like iit madras has launched a bsc degree uh, I, uh, online bs degree there also we have a 3 years exit uh, exit option so it's the it, it's similar to that now moving forward here comes the price of the university so there are basically two type of prices first price is basically a grant applicable price and second is the entire fees payable by the student non grant seat so grant seat is a seat where government pays half of your tuition fees and hence in fact more than half of your tuition fees and then you get the seat the the tuition fees at a subsidized rate so 
say for example if you are going to that college to that university completely funded by your own self and you are not taking any help then your tuition fee fees would be 24.7 lakh rupees per annum roughly 25 lakh rupees per annum this singapore uh, this is 40000 roughly 40000 singapore dollar converted to indian national rupees it's 25 lakh rupees now there is a grant which is called as moe moe stands for ministry of education tuition grant this grant is given to all international students so even students coming from india or outside india they are applicable there are certain terms and conditions that i'll talk about later but if you get that grant then your fees would be 11.9 that is roughly 12 lakh rupees per annum although this is also pretty high but uh, accordingly the cost of living and the payouts which you will get in singapore is according to that only so if you get that grant from government which is not very tough in getting that grant in fact it is easy the conditions on that grant is on a little harsher side but it is easy to get a grant in singapore if you get that grant you your few fees will be 12 lakh rupees per annum now moving forward moving forward now what's the condition so condition is that first the ministry of education tuition grant program is a singapore government program that helps eligible student pay for tuition selected full-time diploma and undergraduate courses so this is for them this is the condition tuition grant recipients who are permanent residents or international students must serve a three-year bond after graduation so what is this three-year bond so basically the government says that if you have got this grant or if you have taken the benefit of this ministry of education grant you will have to serve a bond of three years that you will be staying in singapore and you will be working in singapore only so this bond is there and that is why government is subsidizing the cost of study there this is the grant that you won't be leaving singapore for three years it does not mean that you can't visit your home country or you can't you can't visit your home place but it's just like that you will be staying or you will be stationed in singapore you will be getting a job in singapore and working there only so that their GDP can increase. That's the idea. Now moving forward. Next is as you select your course choice, do indicate your interest to apply for tuition grant. So if you wish to apply for tuition grant, you need to up, uh, indicate your choice at that very moment. If you are offered a course and have been informed that you can register for tuition grant, you can submit your application through the TGNS portal. That's a government portal. You can uh, apply there. MOE Ministry of Education dot GOV dot SG slash financial matters. So there you can apply for your tuition grant. Okay. Now. Moving forward, Indians, uh, so what is the eligibility for even the college admission and the tuition grant that you should be 12th exam passed, 12th passed, thereafter a good pass in five subjects including English as well. Uh, prospective students are generally expected to have a good academic record in addition to satisfying the subject prerequisites for the programming they are, programs they are applying to. Okay, so if you have not passed, then also you are allowed, but you are expected that your academic transcripts should show that you are a good student and hence even in your grade 12s once it gets completed you will be having good grades okay now moving forward next is so there are different courses and different different requirements let's focus on this computer engineering this is one of the engineering branch here requirement subject requirement is that 12 years of education that is class 12 pass uh, in mathematics physics or chemistry so physics or chemistry one is required so if you have both that's also fine but mathematics is mandatory students without 12 year high school physics would be required to take specific physics bridging courses in singapore so in singapore if you have not got physics but that's a very rare chance uh, selection test and the good part is that there is no selection test or interview in this college you actually don't need to give any written test you don't need to qualify anything if you are good at academics they will take you so whatever good you have done in here in india that would work in singapore so that's the that's a very good part you don't need to go through any other further test next is common uh, computer science program so again in in almost all of the courses they don't have any selection criteria they have selection criteria only in architecture then in dentistry and yeah that's it even like in medical and architecture courses they have selection criteria or the tests now good part is that their international applications portal is open right now it has opened on 20th of november and it will go till 26th of february 2025 so any student who is willing to apply to singapore to particularly national university of singapore can actually apply right now okay every year this is the timeline when their application opens now applicable for indian students nus international undergraduate scholarship and science and technology undergraduate scholarship now this is a good part again so basically the scholarship which i have just now informed that's a government scholarship which government will be giving you but apart from that national university of singapore itself a government uh, institution they do also have their own funds and 
they also can further give you scholarship to cover that 12 lakh rupees per annum also so literally if you are a if you are a very bright student it can actually mean that you will be studying absolutely free of cost in singapore it can actually mean that how so there are two further uh, scholarship one, one is national university of singapore nus international undergraduate scholarship being offered by the college itself and then science and technology undergraduate scholarship again being offered by the college itself now what happens here the NUS International Undergraduate, uh, Undergraduate Scholarship is offered to support exceptional international students from all countries, mind it, all countries, except Singapore. So, this is not for their resident, with outstanding achievements. Now, eligibility is that citizen of all countries except Singapore have strong leadership qualities and potential, fine, have outstanding co-curricular activities, great, possess outstanding high school results, applying for admission for a full-time undergraduate degree program at NUS, take these are the requirements but along with this there is one more requirement uh, i'll tell you that requirement later on but what are, what are the benefits first of all 100 percent coverage of subsidized undergraduate tuition fees so this is the requirement in this in this scholarship if you have to be eligible to this scholarship nus international undergraduate scholarship then you need to already be eligible for moe tuition grant so what they are saying they are saying that I, we won't be giving you any scholarship if you have not got the scholarship of MOE. So if you have got the scholarship of MOE tuition grant, means your education, your tuition fees has already been subsidized half, then on the remaining half, we will give you the scholarship and that is NUS International Undergraduate Scholarship. I hope you understood that. So they will be giving you after the scholarship. So if you are uh, after MOE tuition grant scholarship, recipient must take up the MOE, MOE tuition, uh, tuition grant, MOE tuition grant, then only they will give you the scholarship. And what would be the scholarship? So the remaining part of the uh, college fees, they would cover. So 100% coverage of the subsidized tuition fees. Then apart from that, they will give you 3.65 lakh rupees as an annual living allowance. 3.65 lakh rupees, roughly 30,000 rupees for an annual allowance but along with this they would give you 1.1 lakh rupees as a one-time computer allowance upon enrollment so that's a one-time fine for your computers uh, like for your laptop thereafter 5000 singapore dollar that is 3.15 lakh rupees annual accommodation allowance means this 3 lakh rupees this 3 lakh rupees roughly roughly it's coming to 6.75 lakh rupees something of that sort means roughly 55000 rupees monthly they would be giving you as an alliance for staying there and having food there. Great part. Now moving forward, students are required to take up MOE tuition grant to receive the scholarship. The scholarship will be renewed every semester provided the scholarship holder maintains a grade of point average GPI at least 3.5. This 3.5 is out of 5. So out of 5, you have to maintain a 3.5 or above grades. And at the same time, science and technology. Okay, so here, let me tell you. So basically, even they would be providing you accommodation inside the campus and inside the campus accommodation is at uh, is at a subsidized rate so that's not the general rate which i have shown you which was uh, which is otherwise in the uh, in all other parts of singapore but if you go to uh, university co accommodation there it would be at a subsidized rate and hence what i wanted to say that if you get this 50 or 55000 rupees per month uh, uh, living allowance and accommodation allowance this amount would be itself very sufficient for your entire coverage of your staying there, having food there, your accommodations, your tuition fees. So you need to get these two scholarships first, Ministry of Education grant and along with that, that National University of Singapore uh, scholarship. So if you get these two grants, your 100% education is free in Singapore, obviously. This will have their own consequences also because first of all, you'll have to sign a three-year bond for staying in Singapore. And second, that you will obviously uh, be very, you should be very meritorious and a bright student to get this. But if you get this, that's sort, like you are sorted there. Now, moving forward, moving forward. So say for example, even if you have got one, still a lot of students might think that, sir, I'll be able to fund my own studies, nothing to worry. That's fine. No issues. Now, moving forward, the next scholarship is Science and Technology Undergraduate Scholarship is a freshman scholarship offered to support outstanding Asian students, excluding Singapore citizens. So, again, this is for Asian countries. Now, here what happens that eligibility is that citizen of Asian country, excluding Singapore, have strong leadership, have excellent co-curricular, possess outstanding school 
then uh, applying for admissions to full time courses in computing engineering excluding infrastructure and project management or science excluding environmental studies and pharmacy at nus theek hai 100% coverage of undergraduate tuition fees again here also after moe they also need moe requirement so this also is moe based scholarship then they will be giving you 6000 singapore dollar allowance as a 3.75 lakh rupees per annum apart from that 1750 one time computer allowance which is around 1.1 lakh rupees and then one time settling in allowance that is 12000 rupees so there the allowances are on a little lower side but still good because your entire tuition fees would be covered rest you can cover with your uh, part time uh, working there in singapore okay so this is the entire entire information moving forward annual accommodation allowance equivalent to the lowest double room rate for on campus accommodation so in this scholarship on campus accommodation for that they are not giving money but they would be covering that so this benefit also comes in this scholarship now travel allowance for uh, to and fro uh, incoming passage from home country to singapore at the start of program and return passage between singapore to home country after the completion of program so one to and fro air ticket would be given for the entire program that is also there so here also the benefits are pretty decent pretty as awesome here also you just uh, like you will be having this living allowance which will be cover uh, which uh, will be covering your food allowance and uh, your daily requirements because either way they are covering your accommodation they are covering your tuition fees and mo is covering your uh, uh, giving you a subsidized education fees okay so most of these things are covered Now moving forward, the scholarship is awarded to freshmen pursuing full-time undergraduate programs at NUS, School of Computing, College of Design, School of Computing, College of Humanities and Science. These all courses are covered in this. Okay. And what are the requirements? So students are required to take up MOE tuition grant. Scholarship will be renewed every semester based on the this, and at least 3.5 is required. Fine, that's the same requirement. So yes, that was all. So I hope you understood and you got the idea that how you can get into NUS. NUS is one of the best college across world, the best in Singapore obviously, and uh, one of the best college uh, in Asian countries as well. So it has got a very good exposure and a lot of people are trying to get there. Okay, so if you have if you got a good luck, if you got a good co-curricular co activity record, your good academics, you will surely be there. and the two scholarship which i have mentioned moe that is ministry of ministry of education tuition grant and along with that one more scholarship either nus or science and technology scholarship if you get that your entire education fees is free so let me know in the comments box did you like the video or not and if you need any other video explaining any other concept any other college any other scholarship any other particular country i would be happy doing that just mention that in the comment box with this myself harsh priyam signing off at this moment seeing you all in the next session till then take care bye bye good night